the world is full of wonderful things and also evil things that create oppression and injustice. As I sit here and, and enjoy the benefits of freedom and the recovered independence of the country of which I was privileged to serve as president, I can't help but also remind myself and the world at large that it was not easily achieved and that there's a great deal of suffering that lies behind uh, the current history of my people. I am one of those seven million uh, victims of communism who escaped to the West. My parents took me away when I was a small child. We were a family of four when we left. A month later we were only a family of three. There are tens and hundreds of millions who didn't escape. They remained where they are and went through several generations of an extremely oppressive regime. There were, of course, privileged people, as in any totalitarian system, who kept it in place because they were enjoying its privileges. Then there were people, as everywhere else, who simply continued on with their lives and did the best they could, including artists and scientists who simply went on with their work. They didn't really have the choice. But so many people were unjustly persecuted. They were prevented from continuing their careers and untold horrors were committed in the prisons and in the gulags of the Soviet system. Many perished without leaving a trace. The last president of Latvia before the war came was arrested, taken into parts unknown in the Soviet Union, and to this day were unable to obtain from the Soviet authorities any information about his last resting place. He's just an example of countless others who lie somewhere in the tundra without even a marker for their graves. And uh, relatives and, and parents of the perished have tried to go back to Siberia and look for the places where crosses at the time with great difficulty were put into the permafrost. And sadly, the local people have often torn them away, uh, somehow trying to do away with the memory of the events, of which, of course, they're not proud of. It's sad and tragical for people to have suffered under communism, but I think it's equally sad for so much of the world to refuse to acknowledge these evils and to refuse to remember those who have no other memorial. Many of them have these unmarked graves, and it's doubly tragic when the world refuses to recognize their suffering and the evil uh, that was done to them. Worse, there are those who still believe in various theoretical formulations of Marxism, which sound wonderful on paper, and of course which contain a number of useful ideas, uh, which we find in other places as well. But they refuse to acknowledge the evil that the system was allowed to perpetuate, because it was a system of lies. You have the theory on the one hand, and then you have the praxis the reality on the other. Future generations should learn about the past. We have a great deal of material about the Holocaust. I myself have participated actively in seeing that schools in Latvia get very good programs about uh, our past and about the Holocaust. I have participated actively in setting up memorials uh, to the victims of the Holocaust in Latvia. But what we really need across the world is much more attention to the victims of communism. They equally deserve to be remembered, and they equally remember the, the remembrance of their suffering needs to be taught to young people and the future generations. I encourage everybody who has the opportunity to support the foundation for the victims of communism, because the United States has always been a staunch, uh, a staunch champion of anti-communism in the world. And now that it is largely dead, in so many parts and where the oppression has disappeared but it is not the case everywhere in the world and also those who have been some fellow travelers and intellectually have supported this truly hideous system i think they and their children need to be informed of what sometimes they do not wish to hear i encourage everybody to support this foundation and to do their best uh, to see that it gets uh, its projects brought to fruition